Okay, uh, here with Troy after his message, uh, the last of our series here in Constant Contact about trust. And I was thinking as I was listening to it, um, you know, you had mentioned that God always answers. Right. It's either yes, no, or maybe. Or wait. Or, or wait. Yeah, that's actually the better one. Um, and it's the no and the wait that always get us kind of right. tripped up. How, in your mind, would you give people advice to discern the difference between a no and a wait? I, you know, I don't honestly don't know other than being patient other than like in the end of Psalm 27 scripture says wait on the Lord be of good courage and he right. will strengthen your heart wait I say in the Lord be anxious for nothing but in everything it's that whole idea of that, that freedom from anxiety we get when we really release ourselves to him when we release the circumstance to him when we release the hurt to him and, and, and trust that at the end of the day you know he makes all things new he, re he redeems us he can take what is tragic and turn it into something beautiful but that's why it's called faith. It's because it's the evidence of things unseen, the substance of things hoped for. It's literally something you may not on this side of heaven get to see what God had in mind, what he, what the net result of your trusting relationship with, with him was. But he still asks us to trust him. And I know that's easy to say and a lot harder to do. Um, so I guess the, the you know, answer to the question, I guess, that you're saying, if I'm just hearing you right, is trust. It's, it's Joseph for prison, uh, in prison for 13 years, waiting to be remembered. Right. It's Moses in the desert, you know, being a shepherd to his father-in-law's sheep for 40 years. Pro 40 years is a long time. He probably just figured, <laughs> this is life. Right. This is what it is. Yeah. He didn't know that that circumstance was a preparation for something else. And I think it's one of those things where we just, we, we learn to be content. I think for me, it's about being content in the day. Even though I may not be getting okay. what I want, I may not understand the repercussions of what's happening to me, but right. learning that Jesus said, take no thought for tomorrow, today has enough trouble of its own. We're learning just to be content in what is in my hands today, and then tomorrow I can do the same thing. It doesn't mean that we don't ask, it doesn't mean that we don't seek, but it does mean we learn how to have peace today because he is near. And that's, that's the only way I know how to walk through it. Okay. Great. Well, we'll continue this on with the chat. Thanks for your thoughts, man. That's yeah. awesome stuff. Um, that is that. We will see you guys in the chat.